So what you got? Well, when I was thinking about those fires in California, yeah. The way I look at it is there's no sense getting your hopes up too early. The fires don't kill many people, right. so they really don't have much effect. Uh -huh. I mean, it's it's not even in comparison to the earthquake we're waiting for. Right. And an earthquake by itself wouldn't do it. You need the earthquake followed by the tsunami, and then that'll trigger the volcanoes. All of yeah, so it takes out Seattle and Portland too. Then we'd be somewhere. Yeah. These liberals that they think they want a civil war, but they're such snowflakes. I don't think they'd take it well if 20 million of them got wiped out. I don't think so. I think they'd be shocked if they people want them dead. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a funny thing, you know, speaking of, you know, here, here, here's the thing, in Seattle, they passed an ordinance. Yeah. No, no, wait a minute, maybe, no, that's, that was in San Francisco, of course, remember now, you, you can go to jail now for giving out straws. Yes, but you can steal anything up to like, I think it's a thousand dollars and not having trouble. Yeah. So that's why people break into their cars constantly. Yeah. One guy was arrested 80 times for petty larceny, let go every time. <laughs> yeah, but the straw thing, that's serious. Yeah. Well, it's funny too, you know, I mean, if you request a straw, yeah. they can give you one. If you request it, uh, I, I wonder, does that have to be in writing? Probably, and notarized. And writing and notarized, and then, you have, yeah, well, you have to sign it, and then, then you're on the list of someone who requested yeah. a straw. Because otherwise you could subject yourself to fraud. <laughs> yeah. Well, what if uh, Mueller comes up with this thing that says Trump was in California and he got a straw and didn't ask for it, didn't sign for it? Yeah. He could lock that son of a bitch up. <laughs> well, you know, and you know the next thing. Of course, you know, you know, heard how how San Francisco is a literal shithole. Yeah. I've seen the maps. Yeah. I was changed over the The first map came out like 2014. Yeah. <coughs> well, here's the other thing. They're, they're passing an ordinance now. I guess it's like businesses like <coughs> Levi's and Google. And yeah. They've all been like grandfathered. But any new businesses that come up, you cannot. They're not going to allow you to put in a cafeteria. Yeah, I heard that. They want you to go out and uh, a restaurant, and, you know, and you know, out, out to lunch for a restaurant, and uh, and, um, and spend about eighty, ninety dollars for lunch. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Maybe they're encouraging government soup lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, and did you hear about uh, the light rail in Seattle? Oh, that it won't fit on the tracks? Yeah. Or it wouldn't fit in the tunnels. I, I heard both ways. Well, I've heard both. I thought it was what they wouldn't fit on the tracks. Yeah. I mean, uh, aren't, aren't things that are supposed to be a specific gauge? Yeah. I mean, that's supposed to be... Maybe there'd be things like design reviews and engineering and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, uh, I don't know, that's... Although maybe that's where Vermont's planning on getting theirs cheap. Yeah. I was looking, I, 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 I don't know where I could find it. I've got a, a book, but it's somewhere in archives. I, I want to get a picture. You remember the uh, light rail crash? Oh, yeah. The one that went down the hill? Yeah. I wanted to get a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah. It might be in that book, that Mom Badley book. Yeah. Well, I've got, a, I've got a picture of it in another book, too. Okay. But again, you know, you've got to remember it. You gotta remember at the turn of the century, I mean, there were tracks everywhere. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you could take, you, you know, the Montpelier to Wells River. And, uh, you know, they went through you know, that place, you know, the, that big, it's a snowmobile trail. Yeah. I remember I was I was a little kid when they took, uh, I, I saw him taking up the tracks. Wow. I was like two years old. Uh, right. And, uh, and they, then they took up the bridges, took up the bridges, because they didn't want it to become a, uh, a second row. Well, I mean, that was for anybody. Oh, they actually took the bridges up too. Right? Well, they took the bridges up too, because they didn't want it to become, you know, cars driving out of the second row. They had, they had no conception yeah. of snowmobiles and bike paths back then in the fifties. Yeah, yeah. I 
mean, uh, I mean, uh, funny they 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 could have turned that road bed into a you know a hiking trail or a bike yeah. path or something. That you know nobody thought of that back in the fifties. 